Hello, this is Divine Sunshine coming to you with a um with a um, another I dream of twin flames um prophetic I guess you call it dream uh, that I had uh, I had one last night uh, it was about one of my um, leaders that I had uh, ministers uh, her name is Dr Johnny Coleman. Um, she led a church out here in Chicago that was called the New Age, and we are like new non-denominational, uh, New Thought, uh, and which is was cutting edge. It was based upon unity beliefs, which is metaphysics that you take the Bible and everything that's in it has a symbolism and a meaning to it. Um. I dreamed about her uh, death, which she's already passed away pretty much uh, quite some time ago. Uh, and so in doing so, um, I dreamed that we were having like a service. Her, now, her birthday was this Friday, which was interesting that I had dreamed of her then. And even when she had passed, I remember her and I had a, um, I dreamed about her. Um, we being in the limousine and she telling me that she might, if she was a little worried about the church and how it was going to be taken care of. And she said, but it's going to be all right. And she touched my hand and she disappeared in the limousine in my dream. Uh, every now and then she does come to me. And I do look to her for guidance because, again, she was very uh, predominant in the spiritual world as a leader who was cutting edge going to uh, Unity School, which was uh, predominantly back then the day was uh, all uh, white or Caucasian. She was the only one of less a woman and an African-American that decided to go to Unity School, which she was not, uh, she was accepted, but not accepted. The quarters I remember that they had given to her were um, that she found herself living was way off campus, way off somewhere. Um, vaguely knowing the story and I don't want to discredit and say it wrong uh but again the treatment of it and her graduating and being the only African-American woman to successively um finish unity school made her to be a great as we're in black history month a great success story as far as African-Americans and how standing up for rights they're saying for breaking through the barrier of segregation to understand that she had the rights to learn the teachings just as if anybody else that was there on the campus. So she came to me in this dream that I had uh, and not really the, them honoring her spirit and what she had did. And in that doing that, there was going down. They were going to this great arena that has this big pit again last time it was with the divine masculines we keep meeting at this big place here that's always got this circular but then there's a pit in there and so the the, the feminines all females were found right there in the pit there and i had seen them all with african garb on and i asked i was like why y'all got african garbs on and they were saying we're getting ready to prepare to do the remembrance the remembrance um a ceremony for Dr. Johnny Coleman. And I was like, okay. So then I was like, well, let me um, join you all. So I got into my African garb and um, doing the same. But then it was like, you know, one of them told me, so you got to watch it, your right foot there. Um, there's something wrong with the right foot there. Somebody was telling me about something was on, something was off, something wasn't quite right with it and to watch that. And so then I said, okay, well, I got my African guard. Let's go on. And it's like, it's like, okay, so we ascended up the stairs to go and get ready to do this ceremonial thing of remembering her. So in retrospect, in dream, or like I used to tell the kids when we used to do acting in scene, in that dream, we talk about now. That dream was prophetic because it helped me to understand it as what's the call of the divine feminine energies that's being called on now. We see a lot of great legends, or I call great um, prominent people who are passing away. They were like legends and like starters and like the forefathers of whatever area they were, like Hank Aaron and uh, Cicely Tyson and 
all these other people that have passed away. And I was like, these are some heavy hitters. These ain't no lightweights that's passing on. Uh, and understanding that is that, again, there's a void being open. And Johnny Coleman was a very heavy hitter in the spiritual world, too, as well as metaphysics teacher and a, a metaphysician. And that was a big void. And for these feminines, and these were divine feminines, again, it seems like ancestral, again, for they have the African garbs on, understanding our lineage, understanding where we're coming from, that we're getting this great push because some of us have came here, again, to clear bloodlines, but also to stand, as they said, as Oprah Winfrey, to stand on the shoulders of our ancestors to say, you did it, now it's my turn. So we are now in this point now that the Divine Feminine, this is, again, our year to the Divine Feminine is to go and lead and to fill those voids where you are needed to fill in those big shoes. So again, what is also is being telling us again is to get into our mission and our purpose. Not only because it's because of the divine masculine and it helps you to get into union, but the thing they're telling me is is because the world needs you now. And it's this great call. This now this the morning period is over with for whatever it is that you used to be or what you should have been or could have would have been back then. And now because many of us have been to those towers, have been through all of those moments that we have experienced in 2020 and now 2021 and the new age of Aquarius is now calling on the divine feminines to now start the ceremony. It's almost like a coronation or uh, quinceanera, one of those big things that they have, even in African um, cultures where they're saying, it's now, it's a rites of passage, thank you. A rites of passage that they're bringing to me. They're saying, now the time has come to give way and to grieve over the things that used to be or the leadership or we thought those people say if you lead i can see some of the divine feminines is like well they're here i don't need to step up they're saying now we're creating this void rather it's 3d physically people are dying and there's a space in the opening or spirit is saying now we have opened up the way and now it's time for you to step in this is now where it is leading you divine feminine so now the call has been become, begun, and now it is asking us to now step up. Step up to the plate. The time is now. The ceremonial passing of the torch, or these people passing on, is the call and the signal to you that it is your time. The ending of the retrograde is over with. Retrogrades are mostly used there for you to slow down time, for you to take a second look to kind of prep yourself and get ready and now spirit is saying now the time is for you to exactly now step into your purpose step into your mission now the we're in the shadow moment so still finish up your finishing touches uh but after this definitely in march it's time to really again start i told you they start drafting i didn't know what that drafting is but it seems like to me they're starting to draft the people in which they wanted to lead and put them in position they're showing me um chess pieces now they're putting you they're moving you in strategically in spots this queen to this bishop to this bishop to this knight protecting the king you know right there like they say it's no queen without the king so again your emotions got to be on board in order for your king which will be you and your leadership and wanting to move forward into the world and have your being and create things in the 3d the emotions got to be on board that's why i said the divine feminine it's time for you now in order for you to move into the position so now the king which could be your dm or the king or the d in within knows what to do and so now they're calling on divine feminines it's time so now saddle up get all your things in position and things and do what you need to do and this is now is the time so heed the call divine feminines 
Because now through my prophetic dream that I just had here, they're saying we're now being assembled. We're now getting ready to go up to the next level, which is a sin. And now to put to death to do our last rites or our last things about the ego or the past life we used to have or the things that we used to do. And it's now becoming time for that to be a wrap of ending of that cycle. So now you can step in to your position and to your rightful call. All right, then, as always, remember, if you want to get anything from me, to go to DivineUnisouls11.co. I have also, um, for if you want a reading, you have that transformation. If you want to know what you need to do in order for you to transform and to be ready to step into your power, I say get your sneak peek which is still running into February. Right now, I'm not even going to concentrate on the love letters because right now, the thing is about you. So if I were you, I would take advantage of that $14 five card spread in order to tell you what you need to work on in order for you to push through and to get into your power, okay? On my other website, uh, Ashanti Wellness Center, I'll put that down too as well. I have also a 30-day transformational um transformational um thing program that i have that i work with you for 30 days and to make sure that i'm holding your hand you got zoom calls you got um it's one part that we have to do the work together there's another part in which i do a mini read midway in between on the 15th day and then at the end we do a celebration and a ceremonial thing at the end ending those things as well um and so this is really a good program um, for you to get on. So if you're interested in that, um, that program for, um, for that one is, what did I say it was? Was it one? Yeah, for that one is, is that, I got so many things in my head on that one. Did I come up with that price for that one? Okay. Mm. I'm trying to see. I'm battling because I'm hearing Spirit say to do something else with that. So I'll let you know what it is. I'll put it down in the description box as far as what it is that I want to do. I like the numbers there. Say, uh, 122. That's the second time that it came up with. So let's make it 122. Uh, one hundred and twenty-two dollars, cause that's thirty days of me being right there with you right now. Introduction, and I'll see about that. And that might be for a limited time too, as well. But I've done transformational things, and they have really, actually, they really have worked um, with that. So that's another thing. So okay, until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. I'm a state, and I'm a go. Love you. Until next time.